In his testimony, James Comey also admitted that the tarmac meeting between the attorney general of the last administration, Loretta Lynch, and Bill Clinton was a turning point for the FBI. Let me go back, if I can, very briefly to the decision to publicly go out with your results on the email. Was your decision influenced by the Attorney General's tarmac meeting with the former President Bill Clinton? Yes, in, in an ultimately uh, conclusive way. That was the thing that capped it for me, that I had to do something separately to protect the credibility of the investigation, which meant both the FBI and the Justice Department. Meanwhile, President Trump's attorney quickly described the hearing as a total vindication for his client. Contrary to numerous false press accounts leading up to today's hearing, Mr. Comey has now finally confirmed publicly what he repeatedly told President Trump privately. That is, that the president was not under investigation as part of any probe into Russian interference. The president, he, Mr. Comey also admitted that there is no evidence that a single vote changed as a result of any Russian interference. Well, Charles Krauthammer is, of course, a writer and I think the most popular columnist in the world. He joins us tonight to sort out what happened today. Charles, what did we learn? Well, we learned that it was not a good day for Donald Trump or for Jim Comey. Uh, Trump, I think, is diminished simply by the fact that on a series of questions Comey was asked in which his version of their meetings meaning Trump's, was questioned, Comey said, it's not true. Uh, for example, who called whom? These are small things, but nonetheless, being called a liar, I think, has an effect. Comey is diminished by the fact, and he admitted it, he used the word cowardly to describe his reactions, and as you say, to the pressure from the Clinton administration not to use the word investigation, which was a way to please, to placate, to help the Clinton campaign, and then the questions everybody's asking, if you were being pressured on the Flynn issue and you felt improper pressure and what the Democrats would call obstruction of justice, why did you do nothing? Why didn't you say to the president, you're not supposed to do this? Why didn't you offer your resignation? Why didn't you go to the attorney general? Or why didn't you go to Congress? And he basically said, I was stunned and I didn't know how to react. Well, you were stunned for about an hour or two then you had, you know, a couple of months, but you didn't do it. Comey comes out diminished, I think, because he didn't react the way he should have. But to me, the ultimate irony is this. As you said, as you pointed out in the previous segment, the underlying charge, the reason that all this has sort of captured the country, is the charge that there was collusion with a foreign power to influence our election. There is no evidence yet, and this has been now since July of last year, that that is true. And the tragedy under all this is Trump had a human reaction to this. You're the head of the FBI. You've told me three times that I am not under investigation for this. You've told me privately. What Trump simply wanted was for that to be made public so it would tamp down all the wild accusations about him that were going in the press and that were sort of soaking into the public square. Comey didn't do that, and he gave a most peculiar reason for not going public. He said, because had I done that, I would have, been, I would have uh, encountered the duty to change, the duty to revise what I had done the way he had with Hillary, right? He exonerated her at first, and then he had to come back on October 27th. But if you're acting, as Comey is saying, that the rationale is because you're trying to protect Trump from a future event where Comey would have to contradict himself and say there's new evidence right. now. If you're trying to protect Trump, why not offer him the damn choice and say I'm do? Why not? He never told. Trump also, why. I mean, you could say the same thing about any U.S. citizen. I'm Charles. I'm not going to say you're not under investigation because someday you may be, and I would hate That's to have what, to correct myself. It's a very myself. weak reason, and the tragedy is if he had gone public. And I think it was a good card. I think it was Rubio right. who said, "How is it that everything else has been leaked except?" The fact that Trump is on hundred fifty. <laughs> I guess that is a very peculiar. Trump should have leaked it to the New York Times, man. They got to get on. They got to get on the game. Called up the, the Columbia professor right, exactly. and said, "Can you leak this story?" And that's what's 
caused the firestorm. That's perfect summation. Thank you, Charles. My pleasure.